Tesla Giga Berlin just opened, but it's already able to put a lot of pressure on German car makers, and they're putting together plans to catch up with Tesla. In fact, Giga Berlin's press shop can produce 17 components in under six minutes. A Tesla spokesperson told Reuters that one of the reasons it can produce its Model Y vehicles in Germany within a 10-hour time frame is because it is uses two giant casting presses or Giga presses applying 6,000 tons of pressure to make the rear of the car now Volkswagen is trying to catch up how I'm going to tell you in this report but friends this is Armin Hari I'm from torquenews.com please take a moment and subscribe to our channel help us to reach 100,000 followers please we now have about 70,000 and your help is greatly appreciated so Volkswagen is finishing production plans for new electric vehicle factory large die casting and more automation is on the cards instead of robots Reuters reports and Volkswagen aims to match Tesla with 10 hour car production time and look at how many car components Tesla can build. As Tesla kicks off its Giga Berlin production at its new German plant this month, Volkswagen is um, weeks away from finalizing plans for a 2 billion euro electric vehicle factory that it hopes will bring it up to speed with its US rival Tesla. How? Tesla says it can already churn out a Model Y in 10 hours at its new Giga Berlin Brandenburg factory in Grünheide near the German capital Berlin where it can take Volkswagen three times as long to make its ID3 electric cars. The German auto giant now aims to slash production times with its Trinity EV plant which should be up and running in 2026 by using techniques such as large die casting and cutting the number of components in its cars by several hundreds. Our goal is clear. We want to set the standard with our production, Volkswagen brand production chief Christian Wallumer told Reuters in an interview. If we can get to 10 hours, we have achieved something big. The car maker has been improving productivity at a rate of about 5% a year, but must take bigger leaps to keep its upper hand in the European market, Volomer said, without providing a new percentage target. Volkswagen, the world's second biggest car maker behind Japan's Toyota, with a stable of brands from Škoda, Seed, and Volkswagen to Audi, Porsche, and Bentley, has a 25% share of the European electric electric vehicle market ahead of Tesla on 13%. But the pressure on German car, car makers to both master and ramp up electric vehicle production has been intensified now by Tesla Giga Berlin, by Tesla's presence in the country, Germany, and Volkswagen chief executive Herbert Diess has warned Germans must speed up to avoid getting beaten on their own turf. Volkswagen's goals align with a wider trend in the industry of simplifying product ranges and streamlining production as car makers scramble to find the cash to fund the electric transition and keep up with rivals like Tesla that don't have to juggle making electric vehicles as well as cars with combustion engine. Also remember that Volkswagen has orders to maintain and has less time and resources to take away uh, its attention from combustion engines to electric vehicles. Tesla really ignited the drive for reducing part counts and making simpler products. Even Horesky, a partner at McKenzie who was formerly in charge of engineering at Tesla's new Giga Berlin factory. You remember Horesky? He was, I believe, fired or left for, uh, uh, Tesla Giga Berlin. Legacy manufacturers have a more difficult time because they have to maintain current orders. A Tesla spokesperson said one of the reasons it can produce its Model Y vehicles in Germany within a 10 hour time frame is because it is uses two giant casting presses or giga presses applying 6,000 tons of pressure to make the rear of the car. Its Grünheide press shop, which is very famous friends, can produce 17 components in under six minutes per vehicle. With six more Giga presses still on the way, Tesla will soon be making the front of the car with the Giga press as well. 
That's why we're so fast, Tesla spokesperson told Giga um, uh, told Reuters. Friends, please subscribe to our channel to make help us to uh, get to 100,000 subscribers. We would greatly appreciate it as I'm going to bring you daily news from Giga Berlin and Tesla. So the Giga casting technique the Volkswagen plans to adopt was popularized by Tesla as an alternative to the more labor intensive method of assembling multiple stamped metal panels with crumpled zones to absorb energy during a crush. German luxury car maker BMW has rejected large castings in the past on the grounds that the higher costs of repair outweigh the lower manufacturing costs. But advocates say automated driving technology will reduce the frequency of accidents. Tesla is designing actually a vehicle that most likely will not be in a severe crash. Corey Steuben, president of manufacturing consulting firm Monroe and Associates said to Reuters, while Volkswagen can produce certain models such as the Tiguan or Polo in 18 and 14 hours in Germany and Spain respectively, its electric ID3 vehicle, made in factory juggling six models from three Volkswagen brands, still takes 30 hours to put together. Can you believe? 30 hours versus 10 hours of Tesla. And that's what Volkswagen needs to do and is trying to do with its new plan to reduce the time. At the Trinity plant, multiple work steps will be condensed into one through automation, shrinking the size of the body shop and reducing the number of jobs requiring uncomfortable physical labor, Volmer said, dubbing it an expansion of human-robot cooperation. Volkswagen does not plan to have Giga Press at the new plant or in Wolfsburg and will instead use the equipment at its factory in Kassel about 160 kilometers or 100 miles away and transport the products by train. U.S. investment bank J.P. Morgan, president and Tesla's Grünheide factory, will produce about 50. Uh, actually, um, J.P. Morgan predicts that Tesla's Giga Berlin will produce about 54,000 cars in 2022, 280,000 cars in 2023, and then 500,000 by 2025. By the way, according to another production, it is expected to reach 30,000 cars by mid-year at Giga Berlin. Volkswagen, which delivered some 452,000 battery electric vehicles globally last year, has not yet set an output target for its Trinity factory, which will use its scalable systems platform. It aims to build 40 million vehicles worldwide on the new platform, which combines multiple internal combustion engines and electric platforms into one, with half of its global output all electric by 2030. I was reading one report today, there was another company uh, that was planning to cut production to 50% electric and 50% combustion engine in 2030. But friends, how many people do you think will buy uh, combustion engines anymore in 2030. By 2030, electric vehicles and batteries will be so advanced, we will see even much better batteries, maybe 1,000 miles, uh, actually 1,000 miles range per single charge, that I don't think anyone will be interested to buy a combustion engine. Tesla, which produced 936,000 cars last year, has said it aims to put 20 million on the road a year by the end of the decade, or roughly double the current annual production of Toyota, the world's biggest car maker now. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please let me know what you think, friends, about this thing. Still, Tesla can expect numerous challenges as it expands in Germany from securing more water suppliers to environmental groups angry about light production and uh, congestion near the plant Giga Berlin to unions worried about management heavy works council and wages being driven down by workers coming in from elsewhere. Starting production is nice, but volume production is the hard part, Elon Musk told a cheering audience at a festival at the plant site in October 2021, if you guys remember. It will take longer to reach volume production than it took to build the factory. 
So what do you think? How long it will take Tesla to reach volume production at Giga Berlin France? Please subscribe to our channel to help us reach 100,000 subscribers. I would greatly appreciate guys. I thank you very much for that. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Have a wonderful rest of the day and let's move on to our next Tesla story.